very sad day for book lovers. Very sad day. And uh, I remember as a child, 1956-57, Strand Cinema, seeing that, you know, the stall with all the books up there. And ever since then, of course, my connection with Strand has been there. In my early youth, I used to come here. I knew Mr. Shanba. He used to be very, very gentle and very nice. I remember having, he gave me a book. John Lakar is my favorite author. There was a trilogy, a compendium. So he said, Mr. Sakur, take it, a gift from me. I still remember, and it is at my place at home, and I will never get rid of it, because it's such a fond memory of meeting Mr. Shanba and being in Strand. Coming here every time, you know, was like a pil pilgrimage to me. As the news spread of Mumbai's, well, I know iconic is an overused word, but we're talking about the 70-year-old Strand bookstore downing its shutters here. So, Book lovers have been coming in droves. One has to jostle to get a good look at the fast depleting shelves. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thanks. Vidya Virkar, daughter of the legendary T. N. Shan Bagh, is a pragmatic lady. Great minds from Nehru to Kalam may have once walked these hallowed aisles, but Strand has been in a state of consistent decline for some years now. Can I thank you, Amazon? <laughs> Can you fly to Amazon to join Amazon? <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. This is the, the, you know, the epic story, if you wish, that actually was the best thing that happened to Dad. He was a poor student who was studying at Xavier's, who had come in from Karnataka. He used to save money once a month to buy one penguin. So for him, it was such a precious read for the rest of the month. He couldn't afford more. And an officious salesperson in this bookshop said, either you buy the book or you leave. You don't open the book and look inside. So that's when he decided, after a lot of contemplation, that what is the nub of book selling? What is reading? And he then decided that he would open his own bookshop where nobody would be turned out for browsing and also he would make books as affordable as possible for everybody so they could buy more. You know, they used to have like an adda every Saturday. Um, uh, Nani Palki Wala and uh, Suri Sorabji and some of their cohorts, the closest ones, and my dad. They were like a group. They used to come here and really have a wonderful laugh and you know, all sit and w look at books and, you know, a meeting of intellects, uh, uh, discussions, you know, uh, so those are the sort of things which make, give the soul to a bookshop. The story is that I think Pandit Nehru's sister was living here and she said, you know, if you want to come for books, you have to come to Strand. And uh, so Nehru was visiting Bombay and I think dad was still in that Strand bookstall or maybe it was here, I'm not sure, because this is one of the things that I've not been very clear about. But they, he asked him, he requested that, you know, sir, you better come after the shop shuts, because otherwise there'll be a beeline. You know, there'll be a horde of people outside. So you won't be able to browse in peace. So they shut the shutters and Pandit Nehru came in afterwards. And then he took books and then he selected a lot of books. And one of the things Nehru said to him is, why are you giving me such a hefty discount? Because dad believed in the 20% from the first day, okay? Although he could ill afford to even have, a, you know, a book going out at that high discount. He was really a very poor student who had just started a small kiosk of a bookshop. Shanbagh's eclectic taste in books meant his recommendations were taken seriously. Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, uh, who was the, you know, um, chief of, I think, BARC, uh, he uh, brought in Abdul Kalam when they were, uh, he was at, working at TIFR. And um, the story is that uh, Dr. Vikram Sarabhai introduced uh, Abdul Kalam to dad saying, meet my bookseller, and this is Shan Bagh, and ignore his recommendations at your own peril. He's the ultimate bookseller. A question Strand regulars have often asked, 
why are the bookshelves never categorized? There was this serendipity about this bookshop, which was the charm of the place. So you may be looking for a book of fiction and you may suddenly, co you know, um, the universe colludes to bring another book on philosophy and maybe it's your first introduction to a very philosophical train of thought. So this is the mixture which actually led to the serendipity which made people read more and differently to what they expected to do when they came in. Strands struggle to survive, often prompted comparison by friends with their says to the 98 Hollywood hit You've Got Mail. Okay set against the backdrop of a quaint bookshop battling a corporate book chain. Joe Fox, I'm in the book business. I am in the book business. Many, many, many in Bangalore were saying, Vidya, this is, we feel this is for you and you need to see this movie. And I just never wanted to see this movie. I never wanted to see this movie because I knew what it was. And I was already beginning to see the trend. In fact, uh, one of the things I did uh, when I saw Flipkart coming in and they were literally, um, what your, uh, you know, the scorched earth policy, the discount that was given by the publisher is the discount they were offering to the reader. So there is no margin for anyone else to, um, you know, keep any sort of profit margin. So if you get a 40% from the publisher, they were giving 40% to the reader. Whereas we could keep a little margin and give it 20 or 25 and therefore we could turn over 